हेलो एवरी वन आई एम दत्तात्रय निकम वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन अवर चैनल ई फंडा फॉर न्यू डे न्यू टॉपिक एंड अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज बेस्ड ऑन दी सीरीज ऑफ द इंडस्ट्रियल कंट्रोल सिस्टम दैट इज आई सी एस एंड टॉपिक स्टार्टिंग विथ सेफ्टी इंस्ट्रूमेंटेड सिस्टम सेफ्टी पी एल सी एमरजेंसी शट डाउन सिस्टम ई एस डी पार्ट ट्वेंटी थ्री बी एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल देन प्लीज विजिट टू अवर चैनल ई फंडा and watch all the videos created in the various topic of fundamental engineering project and career instrumentation and control engineering deliverables telecommunication engineering procurement engineering renewable energy etc and many more and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get the latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel e funda so let's begin with our today's topic that is safety instrumented system सेफ्टी पी एल सी एमरजेंसी शट डाउन सिस्टम पार्ट ट्वेंटी थ्री बी इंट्रोडक्शन टू पी एल सी और सेफ्टी पी एल सी प्रोग्रामेबल लॉजिक कंट्रोलर दैट इज पी एल सी आर इंडस्ट्रियल कंप्यूटर्स विद वेरियस इनपुट्स एंड आउटपुट्स यूज टू कंट्रोल एंड मॉनिटर इंडस्ट्रियल इक्विपमेंट बेस्ड ऑन दी कस्टम प्रोग्रामिंग एंड a standard plc is designed for regular control where a safety plc has additional hardware and software design feature to self diagnose failure and trip safely when we need arises with a standard plc a selection is based on a performance such as the capacity of the program number of inputs and outputs it can handle also the communication capability and speed of the system safety plcs are similar to standard plcs in their basic operation but are designed to meet safety directive such as iec 62061 iso 13849-1 iec 61058 also they control the same mechanical component as a standard plcs but with added integrated safety functions and control of a safety systems and their related equipment for better understanding please refer our plc system video on our channel e funda which is already published that is overview of a control systems part 11 for dcs plc scadex system there you will get details of the plc systems as well for better understanding of a safety instrumented system or a emergency system we need to follow some sequence and we are going in that manner now risk reduction and layer of protection a protection layer is a set of a protective measure implemented to prevent or mitigate the effect of the process deviations equipment failure and human errors one can refer to the picture where one can see how the levels are defined where the basic control system prevention and mitigations are also defined the layers are process control layer process alarm process control layer then the trip level alarm safety layer active protection layer passive protection layer emergency response layer are shown and are defined now sis or safety instrumented systems are an essential aspect of a process safety management they are designed to provide protection against hazardous event that may occur in a process or a plant or industrial settings sis are typically implemented at the protection layer of a process control systems and are responsible for automatically taking action in the event of a process upset or abnormal conditions that could lead to a hazardous event or any happening similarly sis typically includes sensor logic solvers and a final element such as valves or switches all of them which works together to detect and mitigate hazardous conditions before they can cause any harm or create hazardous event a sif is a combination of a sensor 
logic solvers and a final element with a specified safety integrated levels that can detect an out of limit that is abnormal conditions and bring the process to a functionally safe state that will bring to the normal state this is how the risk reduction and layer of protections are related safety instrumented function that is a sif safety instrumented function sif comprise out of a three element that is a sensor example a flow meter and a logic solver example a safety plc that detect a dangerous condition and a final control element example is a valve that are manipulated to achieve a safe state one can refer to the pictures or the combinations where one can see in a first picture where the sensors that is the transmitters are connected as a input to the sys program which is considered as a logic solver and then come out as the output which is going to the final element and similarly there one can see the valves similarly in the another picture where the sys arrangement is shown where the input elements are various field devices are connected to the logic solver as a plc and then further it to the final elements where the valves are shown similarly one can refer that the pts which are falling under sif functions and how the loop is being created is also shown a sif function a safety instrumented function always helps or detects a specific hazard and bring the process to a safe state that is a normal state this is how the safety instrumented function useful while implementing or design the safety instrumented system we will see the detail safety instrumented system that is a sis a safety instrumented system sis is a system that contains control element sensors logic solvers to monitor parameters and the values of the processes within the plant to ensure that they remain within the defined limits one can refer to the picture where one can see the schematic arrangement of the field instrument that where the sis final control elements then the pressure instruments are connected then the reactor and further the field devices that is the pt entities are also connected to the bips as well as the sis systems is shown where the sis systems are shown in a red color at the top where consider as a logic solver and sis sensors are also shown there this is the combination is being used as safety instrumented function to form a safety instrumented loop where a safety instrumented system is a combination of a one or a more safety instrumented function that is a sifs as per the standard iec 61511 and nci isa 80.0 84.01 have a specific requirements for defining the safety instrumented function also on this topic we have already created our video on our channel e funda that is safety instrumented system sis part 20 please visit to that video and one can understand how the safety instrument systems are designed their requirements and their implementation now understanding on a seal and pfd in a safety systems safety instrumented function that is a sif a response to a specific defined hazards by implementing specific action to put the 
equipment into or maintain a safe state to provide a defined degree of risk reduction. The risk reduction required from a safety instrumented function that is a SIF is characterized by a safety integrity level that is a SIL. Safety integrity level indicates the degree of risk reduction provided by an instrumented safety function SIF implemented by safety instrumented system that is a SIS within a given process. In other words, SIL is a measure of the SIF performance in terms of probability of a failure on demand. For that one can refer to the table below where the safety integrity levels along with their risk reduction factors and probability of a failure on demands are defined. There one can see the SIL1, SIL2, SIL3 and SIL4 levels are defined which will help you to understand the topic. For that we have already created our video mainly on a safety integrity level SIL there is a part 20B on our channel eFunda. Please visit to our channel and watch this video so as to understand what is the safety integrity level, their design application, their standard design and other necessary details. This will help you to understand the values or importance of the SIL and their PFD values. SIS design standard and list of manufacturers. Now so far we have seen risk reduction and layer of protection, safety instrumented function that is a SIF, safety instrumented system that is a SIS, understanding of a SIL and PFD. Now under safety instrumented system one can refer to the left hand side picture where the standards are defined that is IEC 61508, IEC 61511 and NCISA. S84. This will help you to understand the requirement of the safety instrumented system. Similarly, on the right hand side picture where we have given the list of manufacturer and these are the common leading manufacturers of the ESD as well as the DCS systems. We will see that the Yokogawa Procef RS is the ESD system, Honeywell is a safety manager, Emerson is a Delta V6, ABB is a system 800 XA. Then the invences is a triconic. This is how the manufacturers are defined. So please visit our videos to on our channel and understand this topic carefully so as to have the better understanding of the instrument rate control system applications and their implementation. With this, we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows. If you are new to our channel, that is our YouTube channel eFunda, then subscribe to our channel eFunda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel eFunda. Similarly, you can follow us on our Instagram page. Similarly, you can follow us on our Facebook page as well. And keep watching our channel eFunda for various topics related to engineering and a project. With this, we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic. Keep watching our channel eFunda. Thanks. Watch our channel for new day, new topic.